The Manlius Swan Pond has become a symbol for this village on the outskirts of Syracuse. The majestic pair of European mute swans have become an attraction for village residents and tourists alike. But Jennifer Sorrow worries about them and the wild ducks that have taken up residence at the Swan Pond. When the village removed public feeding stations and the shelter it built for the swans, Sorrow was afraid the birds were starving in frigid weather. Everything has been taken away and I don't know why. I'm very concerned about their well-being. Mayor Mark Paul Serafin is quick to defend the village's handling of the swans. He understands that others must have the same fears as Jennifer Sorrow. Well, I thank her for paying attention to what's happening in the village first, um, but we don't have any problems or issues as far as neglecting the, the swans at the, at the pond. Serafin says the swans get 80% of their nourishment off the vegetation on the bottom of the pond. Nevertheless, he says the village feeds them a supplement of cracked corn once a day. He also says a veterinarian checked on the swans last October and found them to be healthy. The village of Manlius has taken down the feeding stations as they do every winter. But talk about mixed messages. On the one hand, you have this sign, which instructs people on how to properly feed the waterfowl. Then, over there, less than 100 feet away, is another sign. And that one says, don't feed the waterfowl. That other sign warns that feeding could cause unnatural behavior, pollution, and disease, among other things. But the mayor says it's meant to discourage people from feeding them anything other than the cracked corn that the village provides. As for the removal of the shelter, Mike Bean, a biologist who supplied Manlius with the two swans, says the birds would not use it anyway. Because it's not in their nature. They're meant to be out in the open, out on open water. But Jennifer Sorrow is still concerned about their well-being. The swans don't have the capability to leave this premises. They're, they're uh, fenced in, and they really have no choice. The village assures us that the swans are fine, and Bean says the proof may come this spring when you may see some baby swans or cygnets swimming along with their parents at the Swan Pond. Jim Kenyon reporting.